Uh, we mentioned earlier that today is World Mental Health Day. It always falls on the 10th of October and the theme for this year is suicide prevention. Out of all the mental health uh, disorders this year, their focus is on suicide prevention. Every 40 seconds, someone commits suicide across the world. Every 40 seconds, someone commits suicide. And that's why it's important to, uh, you know, discuss suicide prevention this morning. Uh, to, to help us with this discussion is uh, the Knowledge Management and Communications Officer of Basic Needs which is a mental health and developmental uh, advocacy organization uh, in the person of Fred Nantogma. Fred Nantogma, you're welcome to New Day. Thank you very much. Wonderful. Um, how, how are you doing today? I'm doing great. Wonderful. Yeah. So tell us a, us a bit about um, basic needs, um, you know, and the suicide uh, prevention project. Well, uh, basic needs, as you've already mentioned, is interested in taking mental health from the institutions and bringing it to the community. Mm -hmm. So our main focus is to ensure that people with mental health disorders are able to live and work successfully in their communities. Okay. Uh, with regards to the uh, theme you, you have mentioned, mm. uh, suicide appears to be a taboo topic in Ghana mm. because of the various uh, ways we look at it. We okay. look at it as either as uh, unhealthy death or yeah. as uh, something we do not welcome. Mm. But for someone to override the basic instinct to live yeah. means there's a problem. Indeed. And so basic needs and also the Alliance for Mental Health and Development are very much interested in uh, bringing this uh, topic out of the closet, as it were, yeah. for us to really, really discuss and also to make the uh, support available for people who need such support. Okay. Nobody needs to be alone when they are in such uh, situations. Mm. So in your um, area of expertise, you know, over, over time, what have you seen or what have you seen to be the main causes of uh, suicide around us here in Ghana? So in Ghana, uh, suicide is basically uh, a global phenomenon. Mm. So the causes are really not so different okay. uh, across the world. Okay. So you have grief people mm. uh, losing loved ones, yeah. loss of jobs and or income, yeah. uh, people with some uh, mental health conditions, uh, for instance, uh, schizophrenia, yeah. because they hear voices might compel mm. them to uh, commit such acts. Uh, but variously, there's, there's a lot we do not know until we actually learn. Okay. But what we do know is that for someone to get to the point where they feel that committing suicide is the only way out for them mm. means that not all is well. And so they actually need treatment. That's mm. the good news, mm. that people can actually be treated. Yeah. So, so how, how exactly um, does basic needs work with, uh, treat in, the, in treatment as well? So our uh, focus, as I've already mentioned, mm. is basically to make sure that Treatment is accessible okay. and available. Okay. So uh, for whoever needs uh, some form of help, mm -hmm. it is okay for you and I, for everyone listening to us, to care. Okay. That's the first point. Mm. Basic Needs is interested in making such uh, care facilities available in the communities okay. by setting up uh, counseling units, okay. by ensuring that in schools uh, there are mental health clubs by ensuring that people have access to the professionals who can really support them and listen to them most importantly okay. and also help them overcome those uh, impulses which drive them to the edge. Okay, so that's, that's, a, that's good to know. I realize that in Ghana, we don't have that many uh, mental health facilities and most of them are even concentrated here yeah. in the greater Accra region. So how many regions are you in and how widespread really are you? So basic needs practically works in the whole of Ghana. Okay. Yes, uh, we moved our headquarters from uh, Accra to Tamale okay. for very strategic, uh, strategic reasons mm. because we realized that Accra is a place that already uh, has something good going for going it because indeed. there are access to facilities. Okay. But we realized that our, our services are much more needed up north. Okay. But we work in all regions in Ghana, uh, in some regions through partners. So we have uh, 
in Brongahafo, we work through the uh, Mission uh, for Hope for Society, Mehonsu okay. International. Mm -hmm. uh, we work with SEDEP in Ashanti region. Mm -hmm. We work with GKS in Northern region. We work with CPRI in Upper East region. Mm -hmm. And we also work with all the psychiatric hospitals. Actually, the mental health authority supports us with um, psychiatrists to mm -hmm. help us carry out outreaches in difficult to reach areas, areas. around the world uh, around ghana and we know that most of them are in the north in the, in the north okay yeah. so you have these uh, outreaches and yeah. I, I it should take some time to address these mental health issues so do you just you know set up there for a period of time and then you move on to the next community how exactly does that work well basically uh, it works by integration integrating mental health services into existing health structures. Okay. So through the efforts of Basic Needs and other stakeholders, mm. we have been able to integrate mental health in almost all district health facilities in Ghana. Okay. And so it is the, the, the objective is to be able to just walk into any facility the same way you have malaria and you yeah. do and access uh, mental health services. Okay. What is lacking, however, is that we do not have dedicated resources mm. from government uh, and uh, also from the proper agencies who need to be contributing to mental health mm. for the community mental health units to properly function. function. So far, uh, through the sponsorship of DFID, uh, okay. through uh, UK Aid, mm -hmm. and also uh, Star Ghana and other uh, donors, mm -hmm. we have kept afloat, but I would yeah. say barely, because much more needs to be done. Yeah. Uh, professionals need to be posted. Mm -hmm. Facilities need to be built. Indeed. Medicines need to be bought. But all of these are not yet present. Or yeah. if they are present, they are not at the level where we are able to say that these are meeting the needs of yeah. the people uh, in those communities. So, so that aspect really needs to be handled very much uh, so. so that you can actually do better in you know the whole suicide prevention and and mental health really mental health um, you know checks as well so um, let's go back to prevention of suicides yeah. since that is the main um, theme for the whole year yeah. you talked about the fact that you ha you are set up in different districts and you go to schools as well yeah, we have a whole uh, school mental health uh, project mm -hmm. with its own dedicated project officer. Okay. Uh, but I must say that we we would not be able to do this with our Ghana Education Service, okay. who have given us the opportunity to work with students and also to form them into clubs mm. on the model of, let's say, Red Cross, you mm -hmm. know, okay. so that okay. uh, students are able to be peer influencers in their schools and also to reduce the stigma uh, which they associate with some mental health conditions of their colleagues. Okay. We know that the best place for learning disorder to manifest is in the schools. Okay, and true. all of us having gone through school understand how students, it can be very difficult oh, for yes. students with oh, learning yes. disabilities and other such mental health conditions. But the idea is to make students the center of attention, okay. but also the center of influence. influence so indeed. that they can influence their peers, but also influence their families mm. towards stigma reduction and also improvement in behavior in towards behavior. people. Um, in the past, we really never heard of suicides very much as we do currently. Mm. And so um, we were very much concerned, and by we I mean the Alliance for Mental Health and Development were very much concerned okay. when within a span of, let's say, six months, there were so many reports what? of suicides, yeah. uh, especially coming from educational institutions. Indeed. And so we, we, we actually had to say something but also not only say suggest pra okay. uh, practical ways by which we could overcome uh, such issues and okay. it is in um, a press release we which has been released today okay. to the media we hope that everyone would have the opportunity to uh, have a look at it but okay. basically we are just saying that we need to care we need to, we care. Need to ask uh, how people are feeling, yes. but not only those on the brink, but also those who have lost loved ones yeah. through suicides. But we, you know, some people don't want to speak. So how do you help them in such situations? In such situations, we just need to be there for them when they are ready to speak. Mm. You know, we need to be there for them when they are ready to speak and promote a culture of therapy. In Ghana, we do not 
promote therapy. We okay. see therapy as something reserved for the rich. But actually, most of our problems can be addressed through therapy okay. by speaking to professionals okay. uh, to, to be able to, uh, you know, get things off our chest, grieve properly. Indeed. Else, the, the pain sits right. with us and then uh, it is bound to find an outlet somehow, somehow some way. Somehow, indeed. Yes. And then if they can't deal with it, they then, end up you yeah. know, committing suicide. Mm. Now, I understand that uh, you have a, a program happening uh, sometime this week or is it later today, if you can take us through that. So those who are interested in suicide as well, suicide prevention, can attend and help other people as well in such situations. Great. So uh, today, uh, basic needs and the mental health uh, fraternity would be meeting at Alisa Hotel uh, at 4 p.m. and uh, actually the program starts at 3. Okay, 3 uh, Yes, but for those who cannot be with us at Alisa, uh, we will be broadcasting live on GBC uh, and all its uh, uh, regional stations. TV3 will be carrying it live. Uh, Joy News will be carrying it. Unique FM will be carrying it. Okay. And so basically, there uh, there are multiple channels by which people can join us. Okay. Others can also join us on uh, Twitter, on okay. Facebook, okay. because the conversation will be alive and okay. will be working on, on, on through them. Okay, through through which outlets or on Facebook? Which so account? on Facebook, our uh, page is uh, Basic News Ghana. Okay, Basic News Ghana. Yes, on Twitter, the page is, uh, uh, the handle is... Uh, Basic needs GH. GH, yes. Okay. And so uh, the, uh, the others can also join us on Instagram. Mm -hmm. It's also Basic needs Ghana. Ghana, okay. Yes. And the, the, the hashtag is WMHD2019. WMHD2019. Yes. Uh, so that's World, World Mental Health Day 2019. Yeah. And uh, they can also tag uh, Go Speak Your Mind. Okay. And Hashtag 40 seconds. 40 seconds. Yes. Because every 40 seconds, someone across the world is committing definitely, suicide. Definitely. Very, very interesting. Go speak your mind. I've been speaking uh, with Fred Nantogma of the of Basic Needs. He's a knowledge management and communications officer. We've been talking about suicide prevention. And, I mean, this, uh, 15 minutes is not enough to talk all about it. And so I encourage each one of you to also attend this event that's happening later today at 3 p.m. at Alisa Hotel to also be a part of the discussion and find a way to also help someone out there. It's said that uh, mental health is just as important as physical health. And so you're encouraged to speak to someone else and help them out of uh, situations that they may be struggling with. Check on your strong friends and on the friends that you know you are struggling as well. We'll be